Hi, welcome to Inside the Moms Club, where being a mom is the coolest place to be. Here in the Moms Club, we believe that what embarrasses you now will make a great story later. And let's face it, you don't laugh sometimes, you're going to cry. Join us in having a good laugh together. I'm Monica Samuels. You are now inside the Moms Club, your private destination for all things mom. Welcome, moms. Welcome, moms. Welcome to Inside the Moms Club. I'm your host, Monica Samuels, and today we have a really, really fun show. I mean, this is going to be really fun. It's a, it's a trip down memory lane for some of us. It's very nostalgic, and it's just, you're going to absolutely love it. Trust me on that one. Now, the, the first thing, it's about collecting, believe it or not. It has something to do with collecting. So for me personally, I'm a huge collector. Like over the course of my life, I have collected campaign buttons. I had a, I still have an Alf Landon tie. Look him up if you don't know who that is. It has kind of mothy. I don't know how I ended up with that, but I have that. I'm a Disney pin collector. I'm a sucker for that. I have coffee mugs from all over the world. I can't wait for my children someday. They're going to fight over that, I know, later on. When I'm no longer here, it's going to like, you know, who's going to get that mug from you? Yosemite. My husband thinks I collect shoes and books, but and I kind of do actually because you can only have so many. But my biggest collection, my most prized possession, is I am a huge old movie buff. And my favorite actress was Olivia de Havilland. So I bid on this vase that she had in her home in Paris, and it is now in my house in Austin, Texas. And whenever I have a guest come over or someone who's going to even get near it, I take them over and I explain very nicely that what it is and you know that's a warning to them that they'd better not have anything happen to it so uh, because it means that much to me so I, I love collecting cool things and we have today with us a true collector I mean if you were talking about collecting she is the ultimate collector she's an art collector and philanthropist and she's getting a lot of attention for purchasing the Brady Bunch house. Please welcome Tina Trahan. Welcome to the Moms Club. So Tina, how do you buy the the Brady Bunch house? How did how are you the owner now of the the actual Brady Bunch house? Which you're you're there right now actually. Yes, I do I decided we should do the podcast from here or maybe you decide. Some whoever did it was a great idea. Oh, that was our producer. She, oh. <laughs> but it was really my idea, if you want to know the truth. Oh, no, it was, great. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was right. a great idea, and we're going to love to see parts of it, hopefully, in a minute. So there was a renovation. HGTV did a renovation, uh, a very Brady renovation, I b- believe. And they then decided to sell the house. Now, what was really cool about their renovation is what we always saw in the TV show was the exterior scene that was the exterior was all that was ever seen really on the show the interior looked totally different hgtv went in there and they completely renovated the whole thing to match what the sets on the show look like which to me is like incredible so then you they decided they needed to sell it and they put it on the market for 5.5 million you you're also a wheeler dealer my dear you got it for 3.2 million and that's just incredible so what what inspired you to buy the Brady house? I mean, that's a interesting. Well, it, it's funny. Once I knew HGTV had done all the renovation to it, I was just concerned something was going to happen to the house that all the Brady fans would be upset about. So I bought it just so I could control what happens to this house. And I'm trying to get it culturally landmarked also. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's great. And it should. Isn't that the second most photographed house in America after the White House? I think I read that somewhere. Uh, you know what? And I will say that is a true story, because every time I'm at the house, there's constantly one after another cars pulling up, taking photos. Oh, yeah. Not, not every day. So that's a true story for sure. Well, what's the history? Now, the house is in Studio City. What's the history of the actual house itself? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the house was built 
I want to say 1959. I think that's correct. And it was used as the exterior shots of the show. And then the woman who owned the house, I think she had it for 49 years. Um, she passed away. So the house was sold by her family. And that's what was in 2018 when HGTV bought it. So the same woman owned it for 49 years. And at that point, it didn't look so much like the outside of the house anymore. There was, you know, a stone little wall that she had built up and the colors weren't the same. So um, when HGTV got a hold of it, they made it completely like it was on the show. And they added, I understand, 2,000 square feet and, and made, there wasn't really a second floor. On the show, there's a second floor, correct? And then they added all that. Yes, they added it all. Right now, it's 5,140 square feet. Wow, that's a big house. I, it is. Now, could you actually live in that house? You don't live in that house, right? You are No. No. I mean, someone could, although the kitchen appliances are just decorative. The fridge they got, that avocado fridge from the 70s or late 60s, they were lucky to find it. It doesn't work. You know, nothing's plugged in, nothing's connected. Um, the water is connected in the kitchen, though. So you can run the sink. So so someone like me who can't really cook and has takeout all the time could live there, but no one else could really. That wouldn't be a... Exactly. Place. And plus the bathrooms aren't, you know, what we're used to. You know, like nowadays we're used to like the taking the shower head and, you know, doing mm -hmm. what we want. You know, it's like a static. Everything is exactly like out of the 70s. So we're so used to modern conveniences that I don't think anyone would want to live in the house. Yeah. So what when you purchased it, what was your motivation for, for buying it? Because, I mean, I know you said you wanted to preserve it, but are you a big Brady Bunch, Bunch fan or? Well, I think like everyone I, you know, that grew up when I grew up in the 80s after school, we would watch the reruns and you know we didn't really have a choice i think it was like maybe bob ross is that the painter and like victory garden i think there were three or four channels so every kid my age grew up watching it and so i i grew up with it i didn't i didn't watch the original time it aired when it was on on friday nights from 1969 to 1974 i only saw the reruns um so i think we all just love the brady bunch and you know, just what it represents and nostalgia. And when I bought the house, I thought it would be, you know, I definitely knew I was going to donate it to charities to use for a charity auction item. Mm -hmm. I knew I would do that. Um, and I knew that, you know, a friend of a friend might want to come and they're coming to LA and someone will text me and say, hey, I want to come see the house. I knew that would happen a lot. Um, so I guess I just, that's what I thought was going to happen, like charity events, or fundraising situations using the house as the winning bid. So that's a like very, that. yeah, that's a really cool idea. Now, this isn't the only house that you've in your collection, is it? I mean, you you have another house you've purchased and for similar I thought process. Well, I, right. I'm I'm trying to really collect historic homes. The only other house that's really significant that I purchased um, that anyone really would know about is a house called Stone Manor. It's in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And that is about an hour from O'Hare. So it's kind of like a beach community for um, for people that are in the Chicago area, like like the Hamptons would mm, be. That's really cool. Well, I'm, I love history and historic preservation and finding cool homes and things like that. So I, I totally admire you and appreciate the fact that you're somebody out there doing that that is tremendous because a lot of these places do get demolished well that house you know it's it was a, a its own challenge because it's forty eight thousand square feet oh and gosh. so it was a it was a beast to try to bring back to life and you know just getting all new electrical like everything new and make it you know safe and current and updated and just fix everything was a was a big undertaking you yeah. know and the person that owned it in the 70s retrofitted and put a, an in-ground pool on the well not in ground but a pool on the roof oh, you know wow. like retrofitted it on the roof and he had a high dive and it was like, what is going on? Oh my so there, there was a lot to contend with there. So it's, 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 
I started like it was eight years ago and I'm still not done. So so I guess we know that if Monticello ever goes on the market, we know who a good who's going to be bidding on it. And we know who uh, you, you'd be good. You know, you have some experience here with those kind of <laughs> kind of challenges. Um, yeah. No, that's great. So you're also a mom. Yes. So how many how many children do you have? I have two. Um, and my daughter is 18. And she just started at University of Miami last year. So that's been a fun challenge with her dealing with the humidity. Oh, and yeah. the many bad hair days that were going on. So that's that was tough in the beginning. You know, when it's August in Miami, that's not a fun place to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, and with with the Brady Bunch, so you're talking about watching it in reruns as a kid in the 80s. And I mean, I was it's a little earlier than that, but same kind of deal. I saw it in reruns and sitting, you know, watching, eating ding-dongs and having Dr. Pepper. And every day you watch the Brady Bunch. But is that still, I mean, with so many options out there, is it still in syndication where kids like, did, did your kids... Do they still see the Brady Bunch or have they seen you know, it? It's funny. I have a lot of friends that raise their kids watching the Brady Bunch because it really does have like good lessons and there's good, you know, good values in the show. And nobody doesn't like it. Everyone loves it. So my kids have seen it. They had not heard of it though when I bought the house. You know, they they thought, you know, Tom Brady didn't live in that house. You know, they didn't oh, understand, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't understand and appreciate it at all. But then they were watching at there's episodes of The Simpsons and um, The Family Guy. And oh, yeah. Modern Family, you know, d- there's so many shows that they mentioned the Brady Bunch. Uh-huh. And so all of a sudden it's like, oh, OK, that is cool. You know, my mom is cool. <laughs> well, you, yeah, their mom is very cool. That is a very cool. In fact, I know in terms of the, his, the sales history of the house, that at one point, Miley Cyrus was interested in it. Lance Bass even made a bid on it, and HGTV beat him in the end for it. But he later went and visited and thought it, they did a great job uh, restoring it or recreating it, really. Um, it's funny. Danny later. Brown, who represented HGTV in the sale, told me that when it sold in 2018 that there were 10 people in a bidding war. I didn't realize there were 10 different wow. people. That's a big deal. Yeah. So that was crazy. I didn't realize there was that many. I knew everyone knew about Lance Bass, but I, you know, that was a well documented. I didn't know about Miley Cyrus and I didn't know there were 10 people total. That's a yeah. lot of people. Wow. Actually. Well, you know, just even looking behind you, is that the the famous, the famous staircase? That's probably yeah. the most famous part of yeah, we can see it back there for those on the, our YouTube channel can yeah. see it. That is very, that whole s- set, I mean, and it was a set. That's, that's just to see it now as a real place that you can go. Right. And I've done a lot to it since I bought it. Um, I, did, <laughs> I bought a bunch of vintage bikes. I bought um, the, a 19... 19- 71 Plymouth satellite station wagon. I got oh, wow. a 1971 Plymouth Barracuda convertible and a 1973 Caprice classic convertible. And I had them wrapped <laughs> the same color as the show. And the wagon is sitting out front of the house and in the driveway, the uh, the dark red convertible that Marsha and Greg did their driving tasks to see. Oh my gosh folks without hitting the egg so i've got an orange cone in front of the car with a egg on it <laughs> that is so cool i so mean when people come by to take pictures then they get excited about that too yeah honestly people w- i mean i you could have a line out th- down the street of people wanting just to tour it i'm sure because that's pretty cool in fact you mentioned the station wagon i was last night i was looking at old clips from the brady bunch getting ready for this and there they were all going camping and getting in that station wagon and yeah so many kids that one of them sh- was shoved out the front door and they had to come back around to get back in. Yeah, so I mean that's pr- that's that's really cool. Now the horse, and that horse that horse statue is that still there? I mean that was always kind of something yes, that people recognized. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, it's still here. Can I turn? Yeah. It? Now is that something that you added or how did no, that come in? No, like that. I added the vase. That, you know, don't play ball in the house space. 
Oh, wow. I, HGTV didn't leave that. Uh-huh. So, I mean, um, I, this is just like a, a a museum piece, too. It's like it's a reflection of the 70s, I mean, the 60s and 70s. And that is so cool because that part of history right now hasn't really been carefully represented. And I think in part is because we kind of were a little bit embarrassed about that part of history in some ways, like the 70s. The clothes were, you know, just... I think people felt a little bit uneasy about that for a while, but now everybody's going back to it. In fact, your daughter probably had to do some, you know, dress for the 70s or 80s or something for school, just like we did the 50s when I was in school. Absolutely. And another thing is when I look at the episodes now, I love all of Carol's clothes and the girls all dress uh, they're adorable. All of their their wardrobe on that on that show was impeccable. Oh everywhere. yeah. Absolutely. Well, you know, we've uh, for our show, I'm proud to say we have personally met two of the four Brady's or two of the six Brady's. We we have interviewed Susan Olson, Cindy Brady. And last year we got to meet Barry Williams, Greg, Greg Brady at Dancing with the Stars. So I've got four more Brady's to go. But um, have, have any of them? I know they were there and they helped even with the demolition for HGTV. They were participated in all that. Have you had any of them come by and visit again or just or do you are, are you incorporating them at all into this whole vision? Yes, big time. I really am. And they have been here. Christopher Knight was <gasps> here. Christopher he Knight. Signed, he signed the vase. Oh, my gosh. Was, oh, my gosh. Yes. Christopher and Knight. That was my Brady crush. <laughs> I no, mean, I'm hearing a lot the other two are great. But, but by the way, I didn't realize how many people had a crush on Marsha. And I did not realize how many people had a crush on um, Peter. Oh. But I'm finding that out now. Like, I'm finding out that a lot of that. Um, yeah, count me so, on that list. Yeah. <laughs> so Susan Olson was here as well. Uh huh. And I had a silver platter made just like on the show and all the um, the names engraved, and she signed that. Oh, wow. That and is so That is so cool. Well, so and, and I ended up, so Christopher Knight, when he came, his wife, Kara, came with and they are unbelievable they're the greatest people in the i mean seriously they are the nicest most amazing people uh, literally that i've ever well, met well i they're would awesome. expect that because like i said well i love him i don't know her but i certainly i think i, I just he's my they're favorite the cutest and you know also so you met barry did you meet him at the yeah. dance Oh, yeah. No, he was really nice, too. And I would say that, you know, my, my childhood crushes came more in line with what my age kind of was around the time. So I love Peter. and But Greg, he did feel to me more like an older brother. So I right. didn't. Well, but but did he's know? super nice. Right. That's what I've heard. Did you know that Peter and um, Peter, sorry, <laughs> Chris, I'm thinking about the show. Yeah. Chris and Barry have a podcast called the real Brady bros oh, and yeah. it's a really good podcast, you know, when you want to hear about all things Brady and just a lot of interesting things. Uh -huh. I didn't realize they had that podcast. It's really good. If you ever want to check it out, I love it. So, and you know, one, one thing that I've really been trying to do when you talk about like, you know, the horse, there are so many things I went back and there's, I've met a lot of huge Brady fans, um, like major Brady fans, you know, that, that moderate um, fan pages on Facebook and stuff like that. And they are so, they know the name of every episode. They know, like, if you say an episode number, they know what it was, it was about. They're so detail oriented on things that most people wouldn't notice. And so I've gotten, I've gotten to know one girl, especially um, named Susie, who's really helped me a lot curate things for the house. Like for one thing, for example, HGTV did not get for the show was this yellow Batozzi ceramic cat that was in every episode oh, of the yeah. show. And it would move around I remember the house. That. You do? I do remember that. I, oh I, trust God. me, I've seen them all about 500 times. <laughs> okay, so they made they made one out of like paper mache because they couldn't get the real cat. There aren't a lot of them, but I found one in the world and it was in Italy near this right here. Oh, this wow. Oh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Wow. So I got the cat. So I'm trying to get all of the things in the house that were really in the house 
during that time period. Mm -hmm. And then there was another thing. There was a sandstone base when you walk in, like on the side by the closet, when you walk in in the front. And I found it in Paris. And it's right here. Do you remember this? Oh, walk- yeah. I do remember that. Uh huh. So I'm getting all of these, you know, artifacts that real Brady fans will remember and appreciate, you know, um, mm-hmm. It's, I've had a lot of fun doing it, too. It's you been- know, that is that is so cool. I'm thinking about this. I, there's there's certain shows that people are just huge fans of, and then it becomes like a, it's it's a bigger, it's bigger than the show ever. So the Brady Bunch is one of them. The Golden Girls. You said your child's at school in Miami. You might go find that house and see if they're, maybe they'll. It's in Brentwood. It's in Brentwood. Huh? Isn't that in Brentwood? Oh, the is show? it? Oh, is it? Was it really in Brentwood? Well, there I you go. Know. That's not right. That's not right. Okay. <laughs> No, no. no, but that makes sense. That makes total sense. Well, buy that one. But you know what? There, but the fans of that show, same kind of deal. You see these people talking about, oh, well, she had the, you know, there was this in the lanai and all that. They're just certain houses and certain shows that there's that attachment to. Just like a, a competitor of the Brady Bunch, the Partridge family, their bus. I mean, there's you wouldn't remember what their house looked like, but that bus was pretty iconic. So. But wait, now this Golden Girls thing is bothering me. Was the house in Brentwood or am I I, I don't know. Well, we'll find out. You know, you, Tina, you and I will chat later. We'll see if we can figure this out because I, I think... You know, what, you know what I was disappointed to find out? That the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air house was not in Bel-Air. Like, that was not cool. I thought it could no. at least have been in Bel-Air. That one is in Brentwood. But you can't really see it because, you know, there's like a big driveway gate and a lot of, you know, ficus, so you can't really see it. But... Oh, it... Actually, we oh, have, we have confirmed it. The house is it, in Miami. The house is in Miami. Oh, it, 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 well, no, we it, just conf- we just Googled and confirmed because we all know Google knows everything. It is in Brentwood. What? Yeah, it's in. I didn't. I shouldn't have brought it up. It's very disappointing. And you know, like forget that. <laughs> I, I, um, like thinking, like what? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't. Me. That doesn't. Yeah. Well, you even mentioned the Fresh Prince. Now the Home Alone house, I think, is in Illinois, but I'm not sure. But, okay. But, but you could just start, I'm just my point being you could start a thing where you you know since you're collecting these houses you could be the woman that collects the iconic houses of television. Can we talk about, and we talk about the home house for a second? The owners of the Home Alone house reached out to me last November and asked if I wanted to buy the house. Oh, so I flew there. It's in Winnetka, Illinois. Mm-hmm. I was born in Illinois, uh-huh. so I was like, okay. So I flew there and I went to see the house. Like it was like maybe the first week of December last year. And I had never seen the movie, you know. Um, oh. I lived in New York for 15 yeah. years, so I saw the Lost in New York one. Neither of my kids had seen the movie either. So I'm at this house looking around, and, you know, they're making references to, oh, remember this part, you know, this window where he slid down the stairs or whatever. And I, I had no frame of reference, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they're like, well, your homework assignment is to watch the movie. So, like, three weeks later, I finally watched the movie. It was a cute movie, by the way. Mm-hmm. The house had nothing to do with the movie. It was a beautiful home. Don't get me wrong. It was, you know, it was like it was built yesterday. There, every, like the kitchen was modern and, you know, everything yeah. was just very, well, I wouldn't say modern, you know, but it, it, everything was new and nothing looked like the house. So I thought, you know, I don't know what I would do with this because, you know, I, I just didn't yeah. even know what to do with it if I could do anything. And then it turned out that Winnetka, the town it's in, they're very strict about even events. Like you, I mean, I'm not, I, yeah, you, I mean, I wouldn't Airbnb it, but, but you can't even like have events and stuff. They're very, but if someone were to buy it and try to Airbnb it, they couldn't. Um, mm-hmm. Not that I would do that anyway, but I just didn't know what I would do with it. So I did not end up buying it. And then they put it on the market, I think a month ago and it sold. So, but yeah, they, they, uh, they reached out to me and it's funny that you mentioned the home alone house. And then the, what is the other one? Full house just went on the market. Oh, also, full house? Right? Yeah. Yeah. But well, I never saw that show and the inside is beautiful. There's, there's it's a lot of them. House. Well, let me, I'm going to run yeah, through, I'm going to run through with you. I have a quick survey for you because as the owner of the Brady Bunch house, you probably are going to be asked a lot of these questions. So I'm going to give you quotes from the show and you tell me which character said it. Okay. Now, do you know what? Okay, it's not, it's not a tough right? test. And if you forget, don't worry. So one oh, of, what? so the first okay. one is you ask a foolish question, you get a foolish answer. Who said that? 
I don't know that. Oh, I'm going to okay. say Mike. Oh, it was Alice because she was so she was so wise. Oh, yes. my nose. Oh, Marcia. my nose. Marsha. Marsha. Absolutely. Um, oh, you're going to like this one. I am a little sunflower, sunny, brave and true. From tiny bud to blossom, I do good deeds for you. I'm going to guess Cindy. No, that was Peter. Remember when he had to be oh. a sunflower girl? Mm hmm. <laughs> So bad at this. Okay, yeah. okay. No, 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 no. Well, you'll see. I'm just getting. So I'm just, you know, this. You can study up later. This is my last one, and then we're going to meet some lovely ladies who have a lot of questions for you. Um, this one actually affected my own family because my sister it was always a big thing with her. Well, all day long at school, I hear how great Marsha is at this, or how wonderful Marsha is Damn. at that. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Yeah. Jan, absolutely, yes. I think you, you got a very good passing grade. Good job, Tina. Good job. And you're doing such a great service to all of his Brady fans out there, which I love. Well, we have with us some ladies who would love to ask you more questions. They are our Zoomer moms. So welcome, Zoomer moms. Welcome to the Moms Club. Okay, ladies, I'm just going to introduce each one of you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and have you have a question for Tina. First of all, Gayla, welcome. Hi, Let's, how hi. are you? Tina, a lot of questions I want to ask you, beauty tips, but that's not what we're here for. Uh, <laughs> you're gorgeous and congratulations on getting the house. Um, I just wanted to ask you, because you can tell you're very passionate. I mean, that you're in your zone. This is your passion. You get very excited about it. What made you want to start collecting these houses and all the artifacts you know i have a, a little bit of a problem when i love <laughs> something and i'm just like i have to have it i have to have it right now and then sometimes i think why did i buy this you know <laughs> um so it's just mostly i would say impulse purchases <laughs> um That's you know, not always knowing what That's i'm going to do but just wanting to have it just wanting to have it i guess you know wanting to make sure nothing else happens to it and you know i can preserve it i love when you said uh i want to ma make sure i had control over it so i just bought it and i was like oh, that made me giggle thank you the only well, way to control it right i love it love if it. you have yeah. if you're if you like impulse purchases i know gala is a flight attendant so do you have a plane that you might be available yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'm an impulse shopper myself too, Tina. Trust me. I know exactly what that's like. I haven't even impulse shopped a uh, impulse bought a house yet, but that's coming. <laughs> it, it's early. It's early. Oh, you never she's, know. she's with Southwest Airlines, which is the great airlines doesn't get me home, I hope, today. In fact, I'm planning on it. Um, Kim, welcome to the Moms Club. Tell us a little about yourself and do you have a question for Tina? Thank you. My name is Kim Coley. I am the mother of two sons and I am a volunteer firefighter and a North Carolina first responder. Amazing. Um, we have we have an exciting development here on the show. We have a special surprise guest. Tony, can you introduce who's our can bring in our surprise guest? We have Christopher Knight on the phone. Woo! Welcome. <laughs> Wow. Getting in at the wire. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Welcome, Christopher. Wow, I am, I can't even, I'm so, uh, I'm going to have to fan myself here. I am mm -hmm. your, I'm one of your biggest fans, and I know you hear that all the time. So don't believe those other people that told you, you know, they were, because I am. It, you, if I'm in the room with Barry, you know, he insists that they're his biggest fan. So, oh. um, but uh, luckily he's not around right now, so I can be the biggest, he can be my biggest fan. So. I, yeah. Thank you. I, I appreciate the love and, and uh, the enduring love because it's been a while. Well, we are very excited. We are here today with Tina, as you, you know, who bought the Brady house. And she's and she said I, she didn't yes, even know I you were going to call Tina. in. And she said so many amazing things. Amazing, as we say here on the Moms Club. Uh, amazing things about you because you're such a great guy and such a wonderful person. Uh, well, she's 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 sweet. And um and she's become quite a good friend with my wife, Kara. Ah. And, um, and nothing pleases me more. Um, another, another Midwesterner. Yeah. So well, Tina, do you, you, you have a few words for Christopher here? Do I? Yeah. Anything you want to oh. share with him about what you've been well, sharing today? I mean, this is the best surprise ever. I mean, I, I mean, this is everyone's 
dream is to get Christopher Knight on the phone. So you made a lot of people happy today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Christopher. This has been my biggest dream. I don't, I'm going to live on this the rest of the day. It was so exciting to get to talk to you. So thank you'll, you so you'll, much for calling in. You'll have to thank Lori. Lori Muslow is an old friend and muse. So um, she had uh, called me yesterday. Um, I had no idea when calling back uh, today that it would be that I'd be speaking on a podcast. Um, but I'm very pleased to. It, what is the podcast today about? It's called it's Inside the Moms the Club, House? and it's it's moms, it's women all over America. And trust me, you there's lots of your fans are out there are going to hear this. So I, I I am glad that you invited me in um, to the Moms Club. Yeah, you're welcome. I feel anytime. very privileged. Anytime. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, Christopher, for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for calling, Christopher. Bye. You're thank very you. welcome. Bye. 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 Okay, thank you, thank you. That was ama- that was amazing, as we that say here on the Moms Club. Yes. That was so fat. Yeah, that's so fabulous. I can hardly go on, but we have to go on. So we're going to return to. I'm going to welcome in Kim again, and you can ask your question. Sorry to interrupt you there, Kim, but here we go. No, no, no. no. I'm okay. Are we to ready, Tony? I'm re- okay. Kim, welcome to the Moms Club. Do you have a question for Tina? I don't. I wanted to make a comment saying thank you because I'm not one to collect items and yet i would miss the nostalgic um opportunity to share with my kids if some if people like you all didn't collect things and sh- and be willing to share them with us so i'm just so grateful i don't remember the cat and i watched every episode you're gonna and, notice it now you're gonna <laughs> notice it now I know. and i'm so grateful so thank you well, thank you for that comment. And can I tell you something else? One thing that I really have been trying to figure out, it's coming on a year now that I've had the house. I haven't figured it out yet. I really want to find a way to get fans into the house. And mm-hmm. that's the thing that's been a little challenging because I don't know how to do it. And also, I really want to get the the cast members of the show involved too, where the cast members can be at the house and meet fans because there are just so many fans. And yeah, so I'm working on that too because the experience is unbelievable. People walk in the house, it's like they walked into their childhood. I, I I have an idea. I can only imagine a mom's club event at the Brady Bunch house. I mean, you want to talk about getting some fans in there. You would have no, it would be probably standing room only everywhere. Well, the house would be what filled. I'm trying to do. That's what my big thing that I'm really trying to do. Yeah. And yeah. So well, let's talk about that after the show. Monroe, welcome to the Moms Club. Do you have a question for Tina? Good afternoon and congratulations on your purchase. Thank You're you. talking to the All Things Brady. Brady fan. I don't think anybody watched more episodes of the Brady Bunch than I did. Hi, I'm Monroe Brown and I'm a native of Shreveport. I ran into Lori here in Shreveport and uh, she invited me on the show. Of course, uh, I'm a business consultant and I specialize in brand development. And I have a big question for you. What are your plans for the Brady Bunch house? And how can I help in implementing that plan? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have some really exciting things planned in the fall for the 55th anniversary of the show, which is September 26th. I have some really exciting announcements um, that are, I'm going to, I really want to, like I said, I really want to get the cast together and I want to get, you know, fans in the house with the cast. So, my plans for the house right now so i just started in fact a website it's called the brady experience.com oh wow and then you can become a member and you will have exclusive invitations to the house to meet cast members just for the whole experience um it's very limited though the membership because you know, I can only, there's only one house and so many days in the year to get people in it. But that's the way right now that I plan to get people into the house and meet, meeting cast members. 
So that's okay. my plan right now. I have bigger plans. I can't tell well, you. Well, I that. definitely Every love head, your idea. That, yeah, that's it'll a, be, that's it'll a, be on that website. I that's a great it. idea. That is a great that's idea. A, that is a great idea, and I'd love to connect with you off camera. Hopefully, we'll collect data, connect later, and uh, have an awesome afternoon. And congratulations! Wow, again. that's yeah. awesome. So yeah, you that's Shreveport, Louisiana. Don't. She's in Shreveport, yeah. yeah. You know, and Shreveport, that's the great thing Louisiana. about the Moms it's Club is Shreveport. we just connect all these amazing, amazing women together. So that's oh, that's, that's so we'll we'll definitely get you all connected. Jen, welcome to the Moms Club. Tell us a little bit about yourself, and do you have a question? I am a mom of five boys, and I remodel houses. And I was wondering, is everything done in the house, or do you have plans to do more remodeling? And what kind of projects are you going to work on in that house? Because I, I always, I, I love preserving things like that and doing um, projects. I'm a project person. And so um, I, you're talking about interior stuff, but like structural or design stuff. Are you going to do anything different or is it exactly like you want it? That's a great question. If I do anything, then it would, it would end up being changed before the HGTV kids. So for that reason, I'm not doing anything to change things. I have repainted the entire house with the same colors they used. And I've done a lot of a lot of like finish work that HGTV wanted it to look, you know, it's okay for camera, but for real life in person, just needed some fine tuning. I did a lot of that where like the base molding wouldn't come would come like four inches short of the end of the wall, things like that. I, I had fixed, um, but as, uh, as far as the outside of the house, the exterior, the interior, I'm not doing anything to change anything. It's all just preserving what's here already. Jennifer, and I know I know Jennifer, and I saw Jen remodels. Jennifer's an architect. Jennifer, do you have a question? I do. Um, actually, first, I just want to say I am so grateful for you. If I could come to the screen and hug you, I would. I mean, I know I know how much work and um, like heart and soul you've put into this house. And I, I read about what you've done in Wisconsin as well. And that is quite an undertaking. And, uh, I know. I mean, the ability to sort of... Um, stick with the project and pay attention to the details. It makes all the difference. And um, I know that people are going to be so grateful once they have a chance to see it, even if all, they're only able to see it through a TV show. Or, I mean, I watched the renovation of the Brady house with the Brady cast and to see all the time and energy they put into recreating the horse, you know, custom printing the wallpaper. It was all, um, and it brought us all back together as a family because like the Brady's were all, our neighbors like I remember them like they lived down the street and so it was really it's been so heartwarming and like good for the soul what you've done and um, I just, so I just want to say so grateful for you and um, you. well you know what I really want you to end up coming inside the house because it's such a I, I can't describe it it's just wild like one woman um, one of the super fans asked if she could bring some people that were super fans over and she had some friends over and one of them walked in and just started crying because she was so oh, you wow. know she was like oh my gosh this is she was so happy you know so it's just it's such a i just want to share that with people so that is my my real goal here and i need to find a way to do it so you know well. because it's I can so tell that you are good at moving mountains, so I know you'll find a way. Um, mm -hmm. Because it's, it's no small undertaking um, to 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 take this on and maintain it, and then also expand on all that they've done already. You know, just like the the egg on the cone. I mean, you're, are you kidding me? That's amazing. Um, so, and you know, I would. I my father has a house. Uh, he bought a, um, a far, the pharmacy he grew up in in his little town in upstate New York, and he's preserving it. And so people can do what you're doing, these sort of house museums or, you know, invest in significant architecture when they have the ability to do it um, or just be the people who support you and saying, thank you for doing that. We as a town care about it and we're going to, you know, support the um, designation of this building as a landmark. Like, so you don't have to be the person who can buy it. You can just be the person who is a supporter of the effort 
And um, so I just want to say thank you for every everything you're doing. Do you have your your if there's one thing out there that was on the market that you could scoop up, what would it be? Ooh, wow, that's a tough one. Well, I know there was a big uh, to do about Marilyn Monroe's house over in mm-hmm. Brentwood. I think Brentwood lost it. Yeah, yeah. But I know there was a big deal about that, and they just got it from you know kept it from being torn down. So I guess any any house or structure that is in you know peril of being demolished is one that I would want. So, but that doesn't really answer your question. I mean. One house I really want um, is the Bob Hope house, that John Lautner house in Palm Springs. Oh, wow. I think, oh, yeah. I think Ron Burkle owns it right now, but that is one house I would love to have. That is my goal. I mean, it's beautiful. It's old. Mm-hmm. That's what I would love. That sounds, oh, that would, that yes, would be amazing. Uh, Misty, welcome to the Moms Club. Tell us a little bit about Hi. yourself, and you have a question. I do. Thanks so much for having me on. I am a mom of a blended family of seven children, so you can pray oh, for me. Almost the Brady Bunch, yeah. <laughs> I have, uh, um, well, I, th- I wanted to say I also appreciate that you're preserving. I'm a huge fan of the homes in Newport and, and so sad to see that a lot of them were demolished. I just appreciate retaining the character that we used to put into building a structure or home. Um, and I my question now is revolving into a suggestion. Um, a lot of the, the I've seen historical landmarks are doing like virtual walkthroughs. So we now have the virtual headsets where we can actually be present and walk through. The uh, museums are now doing it where you can go through a museum and actually v- see the piece. Um, you know, you want to preserve the home. It's small, having a ton of people to walk through, although I'd love to come through would be great. But just to be able to put on a, a VR headset and walk through the home and see the characters in the home today, that would be amazing. I would love to see that. Yeah, someone mentioned that to me recently. I, I feel like it was in the last week that someone mentioned, like we were talking about how in a museum you can put on headsets and, you know, do like virtual. We, we talked about that same thing. Um, so that is not outside of the realm of possibility. <laughs> um, that would be great. It would be great. It would be great. And, you know, I just being here, though, it's it's so crazy. And I just wish there were enough, you know, there was a way to do that. However, I like your idea and it's a great idea. And it makes a lot of sense, especially for people who live far away and, you know, can't make it out to LA. That's a great idea. That is Thanks that again. is a great idea. There's so many opportunities with this that are so cool. I mean, and I'm I kind of jealous. I, I would love to do what you're doing. Huh? I haven't done any of them. All I've done is, you know, there have been charity tours, and I feel like it's, I'm being really selfish not sharing this house. So that's, you know, I'm working on it. <laughs> well, as a Brady fan, I'll be happy to share it with you and come over and well, just hang out a little bit. Well, thank you so much, Tina. This has been tremendous, and this has been amazing. Um, where, so you said we can all jo- look for, is it the BradyExperience.com? Is that what you, or where do we find more information on this? Well, so it's just, like, the website's just going up now. And with a membership on that, you will get special invitations to come see the house, meet the cast members, Everything Brady that would just be a dream. Um, it, it you know there's going to be a limited amount of people that can have the membership because you know I can't have like huge parties or anything. I want more like you know small gatherings. But yeah, that's there's going to if you're a member, you're going to come. You're gonna oh wow! Come. We, I'll have, have to I'll have to, to be looking for that so I can be one of the first people. I don't want to be left <laughs> out of that for sure. Well, thank you so much, Tina. And thank you for having me. Well, thank you. It's been tr- it's been great. I mean, I'm, this has been so much fun, and I just want to remind you, moms out there. Now, here's something very special. I have to say, tonight I might have some trouble sleeping because, of course, Christopher Knight talking to me on the phone. I mean, I don't even know, but I need but I need to sleep, and I need to sleep well. So, New Calm is where I turn to. That's how I managed to get here today because I had a great night's sleep and it's all thanks to New Calm which for those of you listening on the podcast it's spelled N-U-C-A-L-M and it is an app that you can get help with your sleep with focusing with your energy 
I can't say enough great things about it, and I highly recommend it to every mom out there. And the new calm people have been so generous to moms out there because they know how stressed out moms can get and how important this is that they have offered a special for moms. You just put Moms Club in the code when you check out for your purchase and for your subscription for every month of your subscription. Every month, you get 15% off. You don't see that every day with subscription services like that. So that's great. So definitely check out New Calm and check out the moms at Inside the Moms Club. We're on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. We have a YouTube channel. We're everywhere. And check us out on our website, InsideTheMomsClub.com, where you can also, listen, ladies, you too can be Zoomers. Did you think these, hey, these Zoomers got to talk to Christopher Knight? Does that happen every day? If you want to be on the Moms Club, go to our website, InsideTheMomsClub.com, and you can submit a video, and you might be selected to be a Zoomer yourself. So all, all great stuff here on the Moms Club. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I can't believe, I mean, it goes by so fast every single episode. But we will be back next time with more great, interesting, exciting moms like Tina here. And until then, remember our motto. If you don't laugh sometimes, moms, you're going to cry. Don't cry. Laugh. It's fun. And we will see you next time inside the Moms Club. And also, remember, we're on the UBN Go International Podcast Network. So check out some of their other great shows. Woo!